Starting June 15th is our Harry Potter camp, which is an immersive camp. Like the kids come and we've transformed the museum into Hogwarts. This area that we're sitting in now will become Diagon Alley. Um, and the classes that we teach are science-based and they are related to the uh, classes that students uh, are taught at Hogwarts in the books. It's a lot of fun. We have some drama going on with it. And we have characters, costume characters running around from the books. And uh, the kids actually get their own little cloaks and have a good time with it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, so it's like actually trying to recreate a movie? Uh, yeah. Not movies, but... Rec recreate the books in a way. You know, we have the stories that we have going on are a little bit different than, than the uh, stories in the book. You know, I base a lot of the, the scripts on that. Um, but, you know, we just, we just teach the science, you know, as it relates to the classes at Hogwarts. Like we have Transfiguration, and Defense Against the Dark Arts, uh, Potions, uh, all kinds of things like creepy crawlers, things like that. Uh, back to the Harry Potter thing, uh, are you going to use uh, the surroundings outside for like anything? Oh uh, yes, we use the entire museum for uh, the Harry Potter camp. We use like, out here there's this field out here that we use for Quidditch. The amphitheater behind us we use for, uh, we do some scenes out there because there, there is a drama going on during the week. And we use that scenes, we, have, we use that area for scenes and we do some classes down in the amphitheater. So we can use the entire museum. And um, the museum staff has been really supportive with the whole thing, opening up their areas for us to do the, pro do the uh, camp. And the uh, other summer programs, we have our summer discovery camps, which covers the entire, uh, entire gamut of science things. We have like a gamers workshop. This year where campers will get a chance to invent their own video games. Um, we have Crime Scene Gotham, which is a forensic science based on Batman. Uh, we have a couple music programs, Rock Out, and we have some math for the math programs for the, the uh, math bunch out there. And uh, finally, we have Camp Invention, where kids come in and they get, you know, recycled stuff and they just create and invent all day long, and we have a good time with that as well. Uh, so, will the kids be creating music? Kind of? um, yes, yeah, so they'll be creating music, and there will be. Uh, you know, looking, learning, looking at the science involved in the in music and how there's you know, science involved with the creation of music. So, how can you sign up for these? Well, there are a few different ways. Uh, one way is to go to our online registration. Um, that's that's another one way to do. It. Another way, you could come right here to the museum, come to the education lobby, and there's some someone will be here to sign you up for sign you or your kid up for the um, summer camp programs. So, how can the how can participants contact you directly? Um, best way to get in contact about summer camps is to contact the education law, education department. Uh, phone number here is 275-7431. Extension 150-116 will help uh, kids register for the summer camps. So, uh, is there anything else that you would like to tell us? Well, you know, we have a lot of other things going on here at the museum. Um, opening here, like this end of this weekend on May 30th, we have our summer exhibit which is called Dragons. Uh, which is all about dragons. From what I hear, it's pretty cool. And here, just a few months ago, we opened up our newest exhibit called Science on a Sphere. There's only a, about 30 of those in the country, in the world, and uh, the Boonshop was fortunate enough to get one of those uh, Science on a Sphere uh, exhibits. Well, thank you for your time, Mr. Tony Gabbard. No problem. Thanks for coming by. And this is the same part of the SCV. Uh, this is our education lobby. This is what the, act, the area that we actually transform into Diagon Alley for the Harry Potter camp. We have little set. We have a little storefront set up on either side, and there's a little pathway the kids can go through. Um, and in Diagon Alley during the week, if 
they behave, they earn coins and credit like that, and they can go in there on Friday and do some shopping because we have some candy and I, we have a few dress robes that the kids can uh, to buy with their little gold coins. No, like actual real. No, they're like not, not gold not coins you get from Oriental Trader. They're like pieces of plastic, but I want to talk about the robes, like the actual real robes. They're robes that we that we, we have a a girl here who's in the department who actually does a lot of our costumes and she has people who comes in and helps out with the costumes so they have actual robes uh, we have actual costume we have costume characters running about um, and we do offer some dress robes in Diagon Alley and some other cool things like that that are like themed Harry Potter or stuff birdie bots all flavored beans <laughs> things like that like wands and wands and stuff. actually a lot of times the kids get a chance to make their own wands uh, but do we do have a, different ones in here that they can purchase that are look maybe a little more fancy than the uh, yeah. than the ones that they made. All right. Now this is our do lab here at the museum. Uh, during Harry Potter camp, we transformed the do lab into the potions dungeon. And you'll see that we have all these little uh, exhibits that we are little uh, experiments that we do during the year. And for a quick, I hope this works. And for a quick turnaround, you know, we have one side we have Spectrum or two meter tornadoes. And for a quick, we turn it around and you have some potion uh, ingredients there. We have sneeze wort. And all of these, all these have little potion uh, ingredients on the other side so we can quickly turn those around. And, uh, and it looks like a dungeon. We have like a dungeon backdrop that we put up about halfway through the room. And it uh, looks really cool. It looks like the potions dungeon that the kids are familiar with from the Harry Potter novels. Hey, I'm really interested in this. I mean, to get all the little stuff there. I'm interested in um, that is for a, a scout program in the morning. Uh, this is going to end up being a bouncy ball. Oh. We have like glue and food coloring and some borax. To put it in venue. There's some vinegar will be added to it, and we create bouncy balls here at the museum. They're not very round, but they bounce pretty well. <laughs>